was in college and trying to figure out life. I think about it a lot. Every time we get around the summertime, like I be having memories pop up on my phone, my camera, and uh, just just seeing it, just pretty cool. Here comes Judon to the quarterback. Eight years ago, before he became one of the NFL's premier sack artists. Full speed ahead to a third sack. Matthew Judon was playing at Grand Valley State, a Division II school in Western Michigan. In the summer of 2014, after a torn ACL ended his junior season, Judon was encouraged to volunteer at Camp Sunshine, a retreat near Lake Michigan for people with developmental disabilities. We have an alumni connection that is very much involved out there, and so they came to our team, um, you know, several times, like in the basically the spring season, and uh, pitched to our guys to do some volunteer work and go out to Camp Sunshine and spend a week. Was there anything about it that was intimidating? Honestly, the most intimidating thing was I had never been to a camp before, like an overnight camp. I think between some Camp Sunshine coming off an ACL, I think he used it as perspective uh, for the opportunities that he had and, and really has an attitude of gratitude and really kind of attacked it. At the camp, Judon was paired with one person for each weekly session. They shared meals, did activities, and even bumped in the same room together. Helping them get lunch or going on jet skis with them or riding a bike or arts and crafts. Anything that I left them with was probably more fun and enjoyment, but they taught me so, so much more than I could have ever gave them. Was there also a camper named Michael that you worked with? It was, one? yeah, it was a camper named Michael. I think you might recognize some of them. get this. It's a thing at the end of uh, the camp and it's a uh, talent show. Michael wanted me to go up there and sing with him. We just had a great time and I haven't experienced anything throughout my career or my life, anything like Camp Sunshine. So somebody that maybe you did a talent show with wants to say hello to you. Hey, <laughs> what up? I'm waiting for the team to touch you. Do you remember what we saw? Mary Poppins. Oh, every year? Yeah. Every year, Mary Poppins. Medicine go down. Yeah. Did they tell you I was going to be on FaceTime? Yeah. No, they didn't tell me. This is a surprise. This is a surprise, surprise. for me. <laughs> we got him, Michael. We got him. Michael, do you remember our time at Camp Sunshine? Oh, yeah. Oh, do you still go? Yep, I still go with me, yep. Yeah. Let me see. I think I got these pictures somewhere in here. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> you got me. I made a little collage of our pictures. Oh, yeah. I love it. I got a, one of us, you messing with my hair. That's funny. <laughs> It was good seeing and talking to you again, Michael. Oh, thanks, buddy. Bye, buddy. Bye, Michael. Bye. Yeah. At that point in time, I had not too much offer of Michael. I was a college student, struggling, probably playing the video game more than I should. I was living a very selfish life. Every time I went, I, I was taught more about humanity and uh, giving and service more than I could teach anybody. Guys, the look on Judon's face when he saw that Michael was on the other end of that Zoom call was just sheer joy. And I asked Matthew what his biggest takeaway was from his experience at Camp Sunshine. He told me, with anybody, whether they have a special need or not, be slow to talk. 
we as people should take more time to listen and understand instead of criticize and command. Pretty darn good words to live by from a great guy. Susie? We can all 